should just come up and rest on my door for me. <laughs> Over the years, they've grown together. They're just very used to each other's company. Keep it sweet. When I've introduced Tommy, who Cher, he was about two years old, and Cher was quite a tiny snake. My daughter would just hold Cher in her hand at the time, but now Cher's so big she couldn't even lift her up. As a parent, I had to make sure that Cher was tame and sociable to be, to be held. I spent every day, multiple times a day, with Cher, just getting her used to human interaction. But on the other front, I needed to make sure my daughter genuinely knew how to be gentle. As soon as she understood what she needed to do, no grabbing, no poking, just being gentle and respectful, that's all I needed from her, was to behave how I behave. And she, she proved that to me. She's never left unsupervised with her. She's never allowed to feed her until she's a lot older. When I'm 16. When you're 16. Or 16. <laughs> Dear Cher, I have known you since I was two years old. I feel lucky to have you in my life. Your skin is very pretty because you have my two favourite. Violet and yellow. I really like stroking you and making you calm. You are the best pet ever because you trust me with all your heart. Oh my god! No one gets to see the good nature of these animals and what they're really like when they're not being stressed out. As soon as a large constrictor is shown with anything, it's always a bad negative perception. The snakes haven't bitten us, the cats have bitten us and scratched us. Cher is probably the most gentle snake I've ever owned. My daughter is very lucky to be given this sort of experience under the circumstances. She gets to experience the true giants of the species and she has a very rare and unique relationship with them. Oh, yeah.